DJ Pro for the Mac is loaded with so many great features, and in this video, I'm going to go over some of the best features for this amazing DJ app for the Mac. The biggest difference between the app for the iPad and the app for the MacBook is we get a much bigger library section for the Mac. Almost half of the screen is dedicated to our library and music sources, so this makes it much easier to go through your playlist, select music, and really know what you're going to play next, which is very important as a DJ. So if you look down here, up here we have our custom playlist. I recommend, before you do any gig, create a custom playlist. I made a whole video on that, so you guys could check out that video, but definitely start making and organizing your playlist. Another thing is streaming. This app, it has a bunch of great streaming services integrated, such as Tidal Streaming Service and such as Apple Music. So decide which one is more beneficial for your DJing, and I would definitely recommend, even if it's just for a backup music source, if you get a request or something, I would de definitely recommend having at least one subscription to these streaming services. And if, if I had to choose, I would definitely say to choose Tidal. And then that's going to bring me to my next, the next best feature of the app, which I think anyone that DJs with this app for the Mac should be using. And that is video mode. With Tidal streaming service, we could search any, any song, pretty much any popular song. So let's just do Flowers by Miley Cyrus. And then over here, we get a couple of choices. We have the song, but if we go down here, we have the video. And then it says video track detected. Would you like to load this in video mode? So keep in mind, you could keep this in your regular playlist, organize your cue points, and then you don't have to play it through video mode. But if you want to use this amazing feature that I want to show you guys, then you could press OK and get to video mode. Another way you could access video mode is up here to the top right. These are our view modes. There are much less than there is in the app for the iPad. But they were able to keep all the great features by having these uh, these add-ons, such as this one over here, or looper effects and that. So now we are in video mode, and with video mode, it, it allows us to DJ, to DJ and do transitions not only based on the audio, but based on the video. So if we just load up another track here, just going to show you guys that we could do transitions like this. We could go from Miley to Billy Eilish like that. And of course, definitely take some time studying these transitions, studying how it works. I made a whole video about video mode. You guys could check this out. I just want to show you the, the features in this, in this video. So definitely check out video. And with a little bit of practice and getting used to, you could be DJing just as good as you were with audio with video too, and it really adds a whole new element to your DJ. Another great feature that I think people may look past is going to be auto mix. DJ Pro has one of the best auto mixes out of any any auto mix out there. It uses AI technology to really get these transitions and really make it sound good. Over here in our view modes, we could go over here to the top right and we could get to auto mix. Now we are in auto mix, so if we have a playlist selected, it is automatically gonna con gonna transition song to song for us in auto mix doing automatic transition. Another great feature is Nero Mix. So with this app for the Mac, no matter pretty much whichever view mode that we are going to be in, we will have access to our Nero Mix down here. So you could just simply slide it there. It's going to be instrumentals only. You could go here and it's going to be vocals only. And then also, of course, if you press over here, you have a whole up here to the top left, you have a whole whole section and you could get really creative and really customize Neuromix and really get everything that you want to get out of Neuromix. The software works amazingly and now they just updated it so that you could use Neuromix while you're using the streaming service title, which really opens up a whole world of possibilities for remixes and mashups. Next is going to be down here, another feature that I feel like may be overlooked and that is the amazing looper and sampler. There's basically a built-in kind of music production software in this app that's extremely easy to use just by selecting some of these. Again, practice with this and really get to learn how it works. And there's also an amazing sampler. You can create your own custom samples and really get creative and really let your creativity run wild. 
And if you want to learn more about the, the looper for this app for the Mac, check out this video over here. Thank you.